quite a glittering assemblage, King Stephen. Royalty, nobility, the gentry, and... Oh, how could... Not what... Oh. oh, dear, what an awkward situation. I had hoped it was merely due to some oversight. Well, in that event, I'd best be on my way. Why, no, Your Majesty. And to show I bear no ill will, I, too, shall be... Listen well, all of you. The princess shall indeed grow in grace and beauty. Before the sun sets on her 16th birthday. <laughs> she Stand back, you fool! <laughs> It's incredible! Sixteen years, and not a trace of her! She couldn't have vanished into thin air! Are you sure you searched everywhere? What about the town, the forest, the mountain? Rado! Did you hear that, my pet? All these years... Oh! 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 A disgrace to the forces of evil. Oh, my pet, you are my last hope. Circle far and wide. Search for a maid of six... You poor simple fools. Thinking you could defeat me. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. I set my trap for a peasant, and lo, I catch a prince. <laughs> Away with him. But gently, my pets. Gently. I have plans for our... What a pity Prince Philip can't be here to enjoy the celebration. <laughs> Come. We must go to the dungeon and cheer him up. Philip. Why so melancholy? A wondrous future lies before you. Years roll by, but a hundred years to a steadfast is love with love's first kiss. Come, my pet, let us leave our noble prince with these happy thoughts. A most gratifying day. First time in 16 years, I shall sleep well. Silence! You, tell those fools to... No. Huh? No. The forest of thorns shall be his tomb. Born through the sky! <laughs> no. Now shall you deal with me, O oh Prince, and all the powers of hell!